All right, guys, guess what time it is again? It's Cub Cadet Fun Time. Get to work on this piece of junk some more today. Today, guess what's wrong with the damn thing? Oh, no steering, you say? You're right. So now the steering just pops out of gear because I'm going to show you why. Look here, folks. So you see the interior of this bushing here? Wonderful engineering, by the way. Designed just so this stuff will wear out. Just in the right amount of time. All right, guys, all seriousness, the, the deck on this piece of junk is stamped out the hexagonal pattern that this fits in. So the steering shaft fits through the center of this bushing. This sets down in the top of the of the uh, sheet metal panel there, which I'll show you in a moment. And of course, over time, what happens? Metal on metal, you think it's going to wear? Yeah. So what this thing was doing <clears throat> is I think it would turn right... Whichever way, it would turn one way but not the other because the shaft is warbled out and it wasn't engaging the gears when you turned it one certain direction. There's a couple videos on YouTube about how to repair it. I'm not going to get into that, but just wanted to show you some fine craftsmanship from the, the folks at Cub Cadet or MTV D or whatever in the hell the conglomerate mtd there i'm guessing is what this one is but a piece of damn junk okay so what it was doing you see the wheels are straight turn the wheel now it'll engage to the left you see when we come back around to the right guys fasteners real quick 11 16 9 16 half inch on the steering links as you can see there all right guys on the cub cadet show you here look at this that's top quality, eh? Nice and uh, tempered, hardened gears to wear out. At least on this one here, they made the steering rod bushing a little more robust. You see, that's probably three eighths of an inch thick, the contact material. There's the hex piece. This piece was okay on this machine. Most of the videos you see on YouTube, they're replacing this because it warbles out. The center of it wears out. Or it's just a joke. This is okay. On mine, the daggone gear wore out. I mean, there's no excuse in that, guys. It's just mild steel, I'm guessing. Anyhow. So... They got the pulley, the primary pulley under the tractor right in way. You can't get to none of this stuff. So I had to take this whole damn bracket off. Something that should have taken five minutes to fix is going to be hours. So this requires three on each side, six, half inch. It's just an old sheet metal fact, uh, factory fasteners is how they zip them through in the factory how they're tapered and all 
three on each side is half inch head so you need a half inch wrench and you cannot get a socket or anything on it so my machine is a gtx 1054 junker express so there's the hole and everything's in the way it's a cavity down into it if you needed to change your oil, you'd be best to go on and do it and remove the filter and it'd be easier to get to that to that screw. See there? You can't get nothing on it hardly, just a open end wrench and fumbling around with it. Okay. Here's another fastener hole. And then right there one pull your wiring harness wire away two and under the oil filter on the brake side of the machine so the pulley All this pulley assembly off the crankshaft is all in your way of that bracket to do anything to get that you cannot get to that I lucked out and was able to to get a wrench on that and hold it to get this off but you're not getting at that because you see where that ridge is. And you can't even get the width, the width of a wrench in there. So you got to pull that bracket off. All right, guys, nine sixteenths. You got to hold both sides. Here's the back side. Got that off. Look at your lovely teeth, all chowdered up. There's no excuse for that whatsoever. So, there's the new one. See how that flange works. If they took any more attention to detail to build this stuff any better, I would have taken some lube and lubed it up. But since it's just junk, I'm not worried about it. It'll give me another couple of years to where I can get a decent piece of machinery and we'll be good. Uh, so I got the new gear tightened up on there pulled the two half inch nuts off those posts that the linkage sl slides on see that bolt in the center it's just in there loose like so make sure you want to have that in place as well as the bushing Okay, now I'll just set it up up under the mower. It ought to squeeze in there and hold it till I can get the fasteners in it. All right, guys, here's some of that awesome engineering for you. So there's one of the steering bracket bolts, and you can't get to it. Look at the body material. You can't get nothing on it. So...
You can get a wrench on it. You can't get a socket on it. So that sheet metal covers the head of the damn bolt. So, and I just now got it past the sheet metal enough to where I can halfway get the open end on it. Before it was just a sixteenth of a turn, just about like that's all I had. Here's one right below the oil filter. Of course, you see how that lines up. The oil filter in the way.